What's the verdict? Is it like a blow up one? Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, <coughs> well the long anticipated Perth storm was supposed to happen yesterday or last night, um, it was like severe weather warnings, they were saying it's the worst storm that's going to hit the coast of WA in a decade, look, it, uh, it, it rained, rained like normal and then there was like a little bit of wind Unless it hit while we were all asleep. But in that case, if it was such a big storm, I didn't wake up at all. Um, and I'm a very light sleeper. But, you know, I mean, it's kind of rainy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Unless my house is soundproof. It wasn't that major. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I love storms and I love watching storms. But all I ever think about when there's a storm is all the animals. Like... <sighs> homeless animals the birdies in the trees like the ones that run away because they're scared of the storm like so let's this is the blessing let's be grateful the fucking massive storm of perth 2020 didn't happen okay anyway i am venturing out of the house for the first time today since like to do something actual socially um as you can see i am so much better finally i feel alive and like myself again um, I've been dying to get back to work. Like I keep asking my manager or my boss, my owner, the person that's in charge of my studio when I can go back to work because I'm all good. Um, so I have a meeting tomorrow, um, hopefully to set everything up and, you know, get some guidelines on what I can do because that'd be fab. Um, right now I'm about to go out and have coffee and lunch with Liz. Have not seen her in forever. Um, I think last monday the restrictions were lifted for like cafes and restaurants and everything were able to start trading again there's just a max of 20 people in the restaurant so i don't know how they're monitoring that but we're going um a lot of places are still closed which is super sad <sighs> but this is the first time i've been on like a social outing so i got new jeans how fucking cute are they like so cute they make my bum look so good. They're a little tight, but they're that really stretchy material kind of jeans. So they're like so cute, but I love them. Like I don't have anything like this. I never own jeans with the little rips and stuff in them, but I'm feeling myself today. I feel good. Finally, I'm alive. So that is where I'm going today. I jinxed the weather. <laughs> I jinxed the weather and now it's coming for me. Look at all the debris everywhere. Oh my God. Definitely happened while I was asleep. There are like trees everywhere. I'm sorry whether I doubted you. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and give an update. Um, I would like to say I'm not going to get emotional, but it's me. I'm not exactly clear or sure why, but I was let go from my job today. Um, yeah, it really wasn't clear to me as to why. Um, obviously I tried to ask questions or, um, but yeah, they just made the decision not to put a manager in the studio. Um, even though I was told I had to be put in the studio because it needs help. Um, it's just a little bit frustrating for me because I felt really lost for a really long time in regards to like what I wanted to do and where I wanted to work and I was really excited for this job. Um, but back to square one, I suppose, of looking, I'm really trying to hold on to my my be my belief system that everything happens for a reason. I know that 
sometime this year I will be coaching and doing stuff for my own business because I've just spent the last couple of years actually but especially the last six weeks getting my courses done and I'm just about to start a new six-week course and another 12-week course for business and a master's in coaching so I know that's on the horizon so I'm looking up something that really has been bugging me is I'm so torn because I really miss my job at my previous workplace that I finally left. Like I think about it all the time, but it's so conflicting because I just remember how broken I was when I worked there, like mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm still suffering today in some ways. Like it wasn't a good place to work, but I'm just so mad because it's like I miss my job. Like I don't miss the company, but I miss my job so much. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm sure Adam's so annoyed with me because he still works there and I ask him so many questions about it all the time. But it's like pissing me off because it's like, I know I deserve better than that place, but I can't stop thinking about it. And I know I was really good at my job and I felt confident there and important. And I know I can get that anywhere, but I thought I would have that in this job that I just got but they don't want me and I know it's not the end of the world like there's going to be more jobs but it's just like for this point in time my thought pattern I'm just like so confused and upset and lost again and it's really scary because like I don't have a job for the first time and like I have nothing to go to I always had something lined up if I were to leave another job. And I don't want to rely on the government. Like I still have the job seeker thing because of Corona. But that's not going to last forever. And I don't want to rely on it. It's really scary times. I don't know everything's going to be okay. But so confused. I just, I could just run with it and start my own thing even though I'm not ready. Like I don't know how could talk to my mentor about getting the ball rolling but I don't know Uh, are we cuddling together (laughs) oh you friend Who's waiting for food? Chicken. Ads has got the chicken. Oh, you're being nice, Kenny. And his eyes is blue. Hi guys. So, a few days later, since another roller coaster of emotion, and it's, I just think it's fascinating how the universe kind of lays out things for you so literally a few days later after i filmed my last upset video my previous boss from the big company that i left reached out to me and we had coffee today and he's offered me a job i cannot tell you or explain what goes through my head or how confused I am, but I'm going to try. The feeling of stress, I have never felt like I did when I worked there. I left physically, emotionally, psychologically damaged 
when I left that place. I didn't want to leave because I loved my job so much and I was good at my job. I was very confident. But I forced myself to leave because I was in a position physically and emotionally that you should never be from a job. In saying that, I was very upset when I left because I didn't I feel like I didn't want to leave, but I probably should. The next, when did I leave? I left in January, February, March, April, May. It's four coming on to the fifth month that I've been gone. And during that time, I've been in two different jobs. The first one, great company. I've never, it was very, weird for me to go from what I felt at the previous company to this new company. Like that's how you should be treated at work. So that was an insight for me. I learned a lot from my leader and my manager at the new place as to how to function as a manager effectively and be organized and look after your people. Not that I never looked after my people, but you know what I mean? Like to be organized as a manager and separate, but the job just wasn't for me. Um, then moving on to the second job I had and being let go for no clear reason or explanation that made sense, which I was really excited to have that job, as you can probably see from just this journey of, oh, it's just been a, a fucking head case of doubt, excitement, emotion, like just confusion of, I don't want to leave this really good job that I have and I've worked hard for, but I know I have to because I'm not in a good place and it's not a good place to work at because it just fucks with you. And then just jumping from, this isn't what I want to do, I feel so lost to a new job that's probably exciting, but they're not gonna give me a chance, to now full circle where the same place is offering me a job. <sighs> is it wrong to go back and disregard the credit I gave myself for making that decision and forcing myself to leave? Or is it a sign that I should go back because I am good at my job. I loved the job. And maybe I need to learn from my previous actions and take some ownership in how I allowed myself to get to that point of broken in terms of stress and just everything that came with that. Like my eating habits, my sleeping habits. What can I do? If I go back, what can I do differently? Or what would I do differently to prevent myself from getting to that place again? And I speak about it with Adam all the time. It's like, you know, I say to him, you know, don't you think if I went back knowing what I know, things would be different? Like I would do things differently. And he said, in all honesty, no, because that's just the type of person you are. You're heavily involved in everything you do. You're passionate about things you do and you work really hard and you give a shit about your job. Like you're never gonna be one of the managers that just fucking cruises by and doesn't give a shit. Like I, you will not be able to. So I was like, well, that's pretty accurate. But surely there's a way you can be passionate about your job and be involved and work really hard, but still come out sane on the other end. So am I screwing myself royally going back knowing how they operate and knowing how I left, but I can't kick the feeling of wanting to be there. And the other thing is like, now I feel like I'm so focused and clear for the very first time because I have the mental capacity. I'm so clear on what I want to do. The path's right in front of me. I've signed up to my master's course. I'm about to start a launch business course. I've been offered coaching, like work experience almost and shadowing with my mentor whom I've been with for the last five or six years. I'm not in a position to sit around and 
wait for something to come along or to develop my business right now. I'm not in a financial position to wait for that. I also don't want to take a job just because I don't have a job right now and I need a job. I honestly don't know what to do. So I think at this point, I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is how Adam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now Adam stops his bloating. What are you doing there, princess? What are you doing? How did you even get in there? That's silly. What's up? His, his toes look fake, but the rest of him doesn't. He's probably just like next to him. Oh, what if you hit him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the white fluffy one. Where'd the huskies go? Baby. Let's try. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Go on. What's this? What do we think it is? <laughs> Either a toy or a, a fake wooden wombat, yeah. or it's a dead wombat. You can't go in there, babe. Oh my god! <laughs> Stripper move. What's the verdict? Is it like a blow-up one? Oh, yeah. Put it down. <laughs> Get out of the swamp, please. I'm glad that it's a toy. I'm glad it's a toy. Oh, that still looks so real. Yeah, I know it is. Though. Look at the texture. He's been drinking. Look, he's got a can in front of him. <laughs>